Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon to all our 12th Monarchs out there in Monarch Nation coming off a 31 to 17 win. Saturday night at home versus Albany. Puts our record at uh, one and oh, and uh, compliments to Albany. That's a, that's a good football team. They play smart, they play physical. Uh, can understand why they're preseason top 25, playing in a good conference. So we wish them, them the, uh, the best of luck the remainder of the year. Uh, Besides getting the win, which was critical Saturday night, we had 56 players play in this game. 17 players uh, played for the first time. A lot of redshirt freshmen. Um, Jordan Hoy, a transfer, played for the first time. Nick Rice kicked well, uh, the only true freshman that saw a time in this game. So generally what happens when you get that experience, that first game experience, uh, it helps you going from week one to week two, where usually you make the most progress as a team. So hopefully we'll see that progress this week in practice with 17 guys playing for the first time. Rarely do you lose the, uh, the turnover battle by two uh, and still win the game. Statistically, that's not supposed to happen. So um, feel fortunate that we were able to win by a couple touchdowns. We played smart in this game. We only had three penalties for 30 yards. That's a good sign. Uh, losing the turnover battle and then being as disciplined as we were with penalties really helped us. Um, and offensively, the big thing is we only ran 57 plays in this game. We were 4 for 12 on third down. Uh, we need more plays. We need to be able to get more conversions. It was really lopsided in the second half. Special teams were outstanding in this game. All of our units, we met all of our goals. We punted the ball well. Uh, we kicked the ball well. Our coverage units were, were very good. We were mistake free with substitutions, no penalties on special teams, which is, which is really big. And then we had an explosive return in our punt return unit for 31 yards. That led to a touchdown when we were up 7-3 to three, uh, early in the second quarter. Defensively, the, the first half was outstanding. Albany ran 29 plays for 69 total yards. That's really as good as it can get. In the second half, uh, not as good. They ran 43 plays for 206 yards, scored both their touchdowns, and that really came down to uh, third down stops getting off the field. We didn't do as well in the second half. On 31 pass attempts, we had seven sacks. That was outstanding. We constantly had pressure on the quarterback. We had nine tackles for loss, whether it be in the pass game or the run game for minus 46 yards. That's winning football. That's what we need to build on defensively. We feel like our strength on defense is the front, applying pressure, which helps you in coverage and, and also in the run game. Um, and every head coach in the country will tell you this after week one, we need to tackle better. We had some situations where we did not tackle well in this game. They got yards after contact, so we'll work hard on that in practice this week. Offensively, overall, it was a, was a poor performance for us. The good news is we're capable of, of playing much better. We, we practice better than we played and, and we expect to play better this week. We had three turnovers uh, and it could have been more. Uh, we take a lot of pride in ball security. It's something we work on constantly. Um, you can't blame the weather because the weather was the same for both teams, but uh, we got to throw and catch it better, make good decisions to the ball, and then protect it better uh, when we're running it. We, we definitely need to be better in the run game. That was, uh, was not a good performance for us from an assignment technique uh, standpoint. We had too many situations where just one person didn't handle their assignment. And offensively, to have success, particularly when you're running the ball, you, you've got you to block well in the O-line. You got to hit the holes as a running back, and then on the perimeter at wideout, you need to block better than we did Saturday night. So that'll be an area we'll look to uh, to grow in. Um, the great news offensively is a completion percentage at 69% for uh, a first-time starter in Blake Larusa, first time playing. Uh, at Old Dominion for Jordan Hoy, for those guys to complete 69% of the passes on a really difficult night to throw with the wind and the rain combination. That was something I was, I was very pleased with. Um, you know, if we hit that the third play of the game, if, if Jonathan Duhart catches the ball that he normally does, now you add another 75 yards to the total and you're up around 250 yards. Uh, in the past game. So um, we've got to get better at converting those situations, particularly in the one-on-one. -on -one. Speaking to this week's opponent, Massachusetts, they're 0-2 they're with two tough losses. Uh, they had Hawaii down two touchdowns and ended up losing late in that game. Two weeks ago, they lost to a, a good Coastal Carolina team. This past weekend, um, as I said to our team, they could easily be 
2-0 and with a couple breaks in the game. They've, they've got a good staff, Mark Whipple, their head coach, who calls their offense, has won a national championship in college. He's won a, a Super Bowl championship with, with the Steelers as Ben Roethlisberger's coach. So the, they'll be a well-coached team. Offensively, they average 32 points a game. Their quarterback, Andrew Ford's playing at a really high level right now. He's throwing for 65% completion, 300 yards a game. Uh, they've got an NFL caliber tight end in, in Adam Brenahan, who's averaging 150 yards receiving through two games for, uh, for a tight end is exceptional. Um, and Andy Isabella, who's another really good receiver. So out of their 295 yards passing, those two guys account for 222 of those yards. Uh, defensively, uh, they're solid. They play hard. They're physical. You know, they've had some explosive plays against them uh, so far this year that's, that's cost them some points in games. It's a, it's a tough place to play. Uh, going to Amherst, I've got a lot of experience there, either playing or coaching there. It's a, it's a stadium similar to ours where everybody's right on top of you. Uh, beautiful location right on campus. So we'll, we'll be excited to go. We'll work. We'll emphasize ball security and tackling this week, two areas we, we need to improve. And I'll take questions if we have any on this laborious Labor Day of Monday. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, defensive line was pretty mm -hmm. uh, disruptive in getting mm -hmm. upfield. What did you see from the linebacking core? I know Marvin had the interception and mm -hmm. some of the other younger guys in there. Yeah, we had uh, we had some solid production from those guys. You mentioned the theme is, as you said, younger guys that played. Uh, Jordan Young for his first game played really well. Um, everything we thought he was capable of, athletic, he can run, he can tackle. Um, he was really good assignment-wise. Um, Demetrius Stittman played, Lawrence Garner played, uh, Zach Lackman played, um, and those guys played fairly well for their first game. You know, there was a lot going on out there. Um, so overall, at a linebacker core, um, we played solid football. We can definitely improve in that area, but we've got some really good players, some athletic guys, and as you mentioned at the start with the question, it helps when you have that must much disruption um, from the defensive line. Um, we played uh, we played nine guys in the defensive line, and they all played well. Was really pleased with Jawan Ross playing inside his first college game. Um, he was disruptive. He had tackles for losses. He was taking on double teams. Um, Brandon Tyson to have Brandon back, who missed all of last year with the torn Achilles. Brandon played really well. And then you know what you'd expect from. Rotimi and Zimenez and, and Ward and Apu, um, Miles Fox. I mean, those guys accounted for six and a half of the seven sacks. They were just dominant um, in this game. You know, we had probably three or four other situations where they had near sacks um, where the quarterback, you know, just got the ball out uh, at the last second. But um, those guys were really good at it, and that allowed for the linebackers to to grow and develop, which we talked about all preseason. We're going to need that. Those guys are going to have to help so we can get those young guys growing. Just one more. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about not running a lot of offensive plays. Mm -hmm. You had a couple of explosive scores. Yep. We weren't able to run the ball as well as you'd like. Is it tough to get a rhythm when you're, when mm -hmm. you're not out there really putting together any, any sustained? Uh, it is, yeah. When you start out, Ed, with a, your first plays, negative four yards, and then uh, you, know, you get the drop touchdown pass, you're three and out. The next drive, the second play, we missed a missed a blitz. Larusa got hit on the interception, which you know wasn't his fault. And uh, then we had a two play drive on the on the touchdown to Duhart, which was just a fabulous catch. So yeah, that was that was a part of it, Ed. Um, not being able to get in a rhythm, and a lot of it was was self inflicted from the standpoint of um, either mistakes. Missed assignments um, and turnovers. You know, when you turn the ball over three times, um, you're you're losing on average off a turnover. You're losing a half dozen plays. So there's another 18 plays right there. You know, now you're up to 75, which is where we'd like to be. We'd like to run 75 to 80 plays in a game, and that's even more credit to our defense, Ed, for the way they played with um, um, not getting the the amount of plays from the offense. Those guys were on the field a long time in this game and um, the, that's a benefit out of being able to sub like we can now. You know, we can play eight guys in the secondary, we did. Uh, we can play nine guys in the front, which we did. So um, that's going to help us that depth throughout the year. Anything else for Coach? 
All right, thank you all for coming. Thank you, 12th Monarchs. Everybody enjoy your Labor Day Monday.